Right, so I want to give it some th thickness now and weld it all together to get the final result. So um, I'm going to go to Edge and um, try and get all these edges like this. In fact, let's do this. So drag select that, make it those edges out drag and you can see there's a little minus on my arrow and that um, deselect stuff so you go again front drag out drag to deselect and now again I can shift drag all these out like that that's pretty cool and, and again I just want to fix my smoothing loop so um, click on that bit and that bit to loop minus five and I think you want to have a separate smoothing group for this bit so let's do that one that one and that one and six that is good Duh. okay um Wait, there you go, that's quite nice. Um, maybe this, maybe just a final tweak. No, I can go like that, I think. There you go. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so, now I want to apply a symmetry mod so I can mirror this and weld it together again. So let's grab it. I'm going to put it underneath the stack, underneath the Turbo Smooth on my file. Let's just pick symmetry. You see it does that first of all, which is quite an interesting shape. But, um, and you can use this for just bashing out interesting shapes. Flip and weld, flip and weld. So that's the point of view I want. Now, if we go to F4, it's actually done quite a good job of um, slicing uh, the two parts. And, but if you turn it off, you get that. Um, what I quite like to do is um, not use the slice function because you can get some little unusual vertices appearing in the middle of the slice, the symmetry my file. So, oops, I'll pick vertices, drag select everything. I'm just going to move this over here. Let's use a gap now. Get some size. There we go. It's better. That's good. Um, and if I want to um, weld this all perfectly, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to drag, select all those vertices on that edge here. I'm going to go to my scale mod. And I'm just going to pick um, non-uniform scale. And then I'm going to pick the parent space, uh, which is the space of the object. So in a sub a s um I can never remember this is called sub selection mode, yeah. So we've got sub selecting vertices, so the parent is actually the object itself. And you can see where the center of it is, it's set to um use pivot point center. So we're actually gonna use the parent space, so the center of the object itself. So I just drag down to that and it's saying transform coordinate center. So we've got now that's in the center of the object and I can just drag that into the middle of that. And that will cure any weird vertices which are appearing in the middle of the object. And also, because I've got backface culling on, if I just undo things a bit, you can see there's a an edge appears when things aren't quite properly welded. So I just I can just scale it, and you can see that edge disappears now because everything's welded together. Um, I can check it by going F3 and looking through the other side, so I can see all oh, that's welded together nicely. And um, Oh, my turbo smooths off, so I can just click on the light to turn it on again, and there we go. Turn off the edges, so that's all nicely smoothed. Cool. Um, yeah, not bad. Uh, I'm just going to drag that down, I think. There we go. Nice. Right. Um a few final tweaks. 
and that's how I'm using the plane to make sure even though I'm in the orthographic view um, I'm not dragging things around off axis so I'm always clicking on that plane to make sure everything stays in the right place there we go that'll do um, let's try and sort out my lines Let's put it up. Right. That'll do for the moment.